All right, my face is on screen, which means we have a problem. Okay. Apparently, somebody thought it was going to be a good idea to cancel the Mandalorian game that's coming out. Now, I don't know whose idea it was and who made this call, but are you kidding me? Like literally the most anticipated game that we've had in so long and you decide to cancel it when it's already in development. So money has already been spent. The game has already been partially made. And from what it says in these articles, a decent amount of levels were done. And then you just go and can how many Star Wars games are we going to cancel before you just ax it all together? Like you may as well just stop production of all of them at this point. Like I'm so confused as to how EA has fumbled once again. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm appreciative of the opportunities that I've been given through EA, but holy, how are we canceling a Mandalorian game? It's literally the most exciting thing about Star Wars right now with the TV series and everything that's in development around Mando and you go ahead and cancel the game. I'm literally lost for words. I didn't even write a script for this and this is how you know I'm pissed because I just wanted to come on here and talk to you guys about where the logic is like these articles say that ea is wanting to move away from licensed ips because obviously they have to pay disney a cut of whatever they earn you're going to earn more from star wars than you are from your own ip so many youtubers have brought up things like anthem and that avium game or whatever that came out recently they lasted five minutes people forgot those games existed by the time it was installed like like, what are we talking about? How are you saying that Star Wars is not going to make you money? You laid off 700 people on top of the thousands of others that have already been laid off in the gaming industry this year. I do not understand where this is coming from. If a game is going to make you money, it is a Mandalorian game. People that don't even watch Star Wars watch The Mandalorian. And that's saying something. Like, that may have been their first introduction into Star Wars that got them to start watching the movies and you go ahead and cancel like it's ridiculous like this here says that ea has been moving away from licensed ip for a while first rejecting the idea of a star wars battlefront 3 in favor of more battlefield content sound familiar it's exactly what they did with battlefront 2 canceled support moved the devs onto battlefield 2042 and look where that got them project was greenlit by ea wasn't greenlit by ea due to the licensing fees so battlefront 3 essentially got pitched and shut down because the licensing fees were too expensive. Now, to my understanding, and don't quote me on this, this comes from somebody that I know, the licensing fee is 20%. Now, I'm sorry, but 80% of the sales on a Star Wars game is still more than 100% of your own IPs. Yes, EAFC, sure, the sports games do great. I get that. But if you're talking about your own IPs in terms of Anthem, right? The Avium game, whatever that was called that lasted five minutes. All of those individual IPs. Battlefield, yeah, like Battlefield does relatively well. There's a hardcore community for that. But where are you thinking your logic is? Battlefront 1 and 2 together sold 33 million copies. Which there's probably more now because those figures are old. That came out years ago but over 33 million copies. How many copies of Anthem did you guys sell? How many copies of Avium did you guys sell? I haven't even heard of anyone mention those two games until this article. If you have a Mandalorian game that launches, you're getting 20 million sales. Like, I'm sorry, you will. You would. It's not hard to see. The Fallen Order, like Fallen Order and Survivor, the Jedi games, sell fantastically, great success. Right? Squadrons, it wasn't great, but it performed above what they were expecting to the point where they actually went ahead and made DLC for it. They made free DLC and added content to the game because it did better than they were expecting it to. So you tell me where it is not worth making a Star Wars game. Like, I am baffled that people think taking this away. And there's another thing that said that they wanted to shift from single player games towards large scale um, online live service games and open world games. I'm sorry, is that not why we canceled everything else? 
You wanted to focus on single player games. And now you want to go back to live service games. Like, are you that far out of touch and behind in the industry that every couple of years you cancel everything, change back to the opposite of what you said you were going to do because that's what everyone else is doing. A couple of years ago, you saw single player games start to do well, decided you were going to work on single player games. Now, a few years later, you've realized, okay, single player games might not be the wave. Let's do a live service, cancel all the single player games. What are you doing? Like, where is the logic? I don't get it. I, I'm honestly speechless. And it's so frustrating, not just as a creator, but as a general fan of Star Wars. Like, how do you take the biggest and hottest commodity in Star Wars right now, which is Mando, pitch a game on it, make a game on it, and then cancel it before it gets the chance to even see the light of day? How many Star Wars games are we going to cancel here? Like, at this point, I'm so glad that there are other studios and other companies developing Star Wars games because this is exactly how not to handle it. You're literally sitting on a gold mine in Star Wars, and if you just did it correctly, you would be fine. If you did Battlefront 3, a live service game, which is what you're telling people you want to do, right? Constant support, constant updates, new content being added, however you want to do it, season passes, whatever, right? If you make a live service Battlefront 3 or multiplayer Star Wars game that's under a different name, right? And continue to update it and it's a good game. That makes you so much money, so much money. And then on top of that, you work on single player games out of other studios like Respawn, who would have absolutely crushed this Mandalorian game. I guarantee you it would have been incredible right because respawn doesn't miss and then on top of that you've got your jedi series with jedi 3 in development you launch those two single player games alone alongside a battlefront 3 or multiplayer um, shooter game that gets live service you wouldn't have to worry about money whatsoever at any point licensing fees aside you're making a shit ton of money off those three games alone so someone explain to me where along the way EA is so misconstrued and so out of touch that they think Star Wars games, Star Wars games are not worth it. Look at the announcement of Battlefront Classic Collection. Look how much excitement is around a freaking 20 year old game, right? 20 years old, the Battlefront Collection is. And people are more excited for that than anything because it's online multiplayer Star Wars. The graphics are shit to today's comparison. The gameplay is clunky compared to today's comparison. But there is an entire community, an entire ton of people so excited to pay $35 for a 20 year old game just so they can play some online multiplayer Star Wars. So one you cancel the most hyped star wars game that we've had in recent times and two you won't do a battlefront 3 or a live service multiplayer game but yet money is your concern licensing fees are your concern i guarantee you if you made those two games you would make way 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 more even with the 20 percent deduction of licensing I just, I'm so tired, man. I'm so tired. We finally were starting to get excited for Star Wars games again, and then you come out and pull this shit. I give up, man. I'll still cover Star Wars games, but it just seems like anything EA is touching other than the Jedi games at this point has no future. So I'm just going to wait for the third Jedi game, and I'm excited for that. Don't get me wrong, I'm still very excited that because they did an incredible job with the second and the first game but somebody make battlefront 3 somebody make an online multiplayer star wars game i don't care give it to epic games let them do it not in fortnite don't do that but like make your own make an actual game somebody activision whoever i don't care just just make it like it's it's money you're throwing away if you don't make and if anyone wants to pick up this Mando game and make that too, I guarantee you so many people want to play that. But 
I'm rambling at this point because I'm annoyed. I didn't go into this with a script for a reason. I don't know. It's sad, man. It's really sad to see absolutely fumbling the bag on this one. So I'm going to get out of here. I'll be back soon with a more positive Battlefront Classic Collection video for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed somewhat my rant in this one and it doesn't turn you guys off my channel. Um, but I will see you guys very soon for a more positive video. I love you guys. Peace.